Hi everyone, welcome to another Sailor Moon Crystal episode review. I will be talking a little fast because again I'm having internet trouble and I haven't had time to fix it. So again, if I forget to mention something, sorry, just comment on the video and let me know if I forget anything. So this episode review episode review will focus around Act 6, Tuxedo Mask, which aired on September 13th, I believe. So, we kick off the episode, it picks up from Act 5, where that ended up, where that ended, where Sailor Moon gets the Moonstick, and it's, Sailor, the Moonstick is more crystallized, I think, than it was in the 90s, where in the 90s it was like a gold crescent moon with the pink handle. And I will be focusing more on the crystal episode versus the 90s because there's not that much to compare it to. So anyway, um, so after Luna, after they get the moon stick, um, in this episode, we cut to Queen Beryl and Ness Light is kind of asking, can I please have another chance? Well, B Beryl's saying, didn't really say much, but the other generals, Zoisite and Malachite, are saying, no, you had your chance and Jupiter beat you. So, um, there's that, that, that was done. And then, uh, Darian is having the mo the dream of the moon princess also. Um, but I want to backtrack a bit. Uh, so after Nephilite is kind of shot down, Zoisite takes over. So that's who is, that's who they're fighting in this episode. So yes, back to Darian. Uh, Darian's having the dream of the moon princess again. So something different, of course, from the 90s versus now, is in the 90s, uh, only Darian had the dream of the moon princess. Whereas in Crystal, both Serena and Darian are having the dream. So that's different. And so he wakes up from the dream, wondering who is she? And of course, she's asking for the, si the silver millennium, or silver imperium crystal. And so that's kind of what he wants to do. He wants to find a silver crystal. And so as Tuxedo Mask, he kind of gets in to the news, causing trouble looking for the silver crystal. So, uh, another thing that happens in this episode is Serena th is not late to school for the first time because she's having kind of like a bad dream. So, she's on time with Amy and Lita, and she's not really paying attention because she's talking to them, and she bumps into Darian again. And she falls, and Amy is saying, are you okay? And Darian's like, you need to be more careful. And he reaches out and asks to help her up, or tries to anyway. And she says, no, thank you. Well, she's blushing. And Amy, Amy realizes that he has a high-level uh, high school uniform on. And they're kind of wondering who he is. And Lita asks Serena, and Serena goes, well, his name is... Uh, Darian and um, and she starts to blush and Lita's like oh you have a f you know you like him and things like that so uh, and, sh and Serena of course is saying no I don't um, so yes they um, so yes they're on time for school and so we kind of get to see Zoisite's plan for the to find the silver crystal and to get energy he is at a news station and he uses that as his base for the episode for his plan. So he hypnotizes everyone watching the news about the silver crystal to go look for the silver crystal. So anyone watching it, whether it be at home or in the streets of the city, they get hypnotized. And so the city becomes chaotic. Well, Serena's home, or gets home, and her mom is looking for the silver crystal, and the house is a wreck. Well, Luna is on the laptop telling everybody to meet her at the arcade. So, they're at the arcade, and uh, Luna tells them, that, of course, she's from the moon. I believe, wait, I think that was from last episode, but um, anyway, they're at the arcade. They're sitting at the Sailor V game, and they're not playing it. They're just sitting there talking, and Serena hears someone called to her. Well, she looks at the game, and we see the little game version of Sailor Venus kind of is telling her, you can do it, I have faith in you, and she's holding the crescent moon wand in the game. And Serena's like, hey, that looks like the one I have. So, um, there's, 
that that also happened and so uh, S Serena and all the girls go home apparently I believe and um, uh, they're still look. Everyone's still looking for the silver crystal. So, um, but Zoe Sight is saying, "Hey, you've looked for a couple hours, and that's enough." So he turns off the hypno beam or whatever is hypnotizing them, and decides to take their energy. Well, Luna senses something's wrong and tells everyone to meet the, her back at the arcade. Well, at this time, she uses the Sailor V game and uses a code to open up the secret base to central for central control central control. So they hide there, she researches Darien, and the other scouts are telling Serena, well you gotta be careful, we don't know much about him. He may be on the, he may be evil, he may be, he may not. Well Serena's telling them no, they're wrong, she, he's saved her um, more times than she can count. She, he, she, he is good, he's not evil. So out of anger, she runs away, or she runs out of the base, and I think tries to find him or something while the other scouts go to Zoisite's base the TV station well the scouts transform and Serena's kind of walking around downtown or down into the city and her, her energy starts to get drained so Darian comes up and finds her kind of semi-unconscious and about to fall and so he grabs her and tells her to get a hold of herself and you know, they walk together for a bit at this point, the scouts are fighting Zoisite, and Zoisite drains their energy. So Luna gets on some construction beams, calls to Serena, and re at this point, Serena still hasn't transformed. And she's kind of down. She's telling uh, Tuxedo Mask at this time, because he did transform into Tuxedo Mask, that she's not powerful like Sailor Mars, Jupiter, or Venus. Sailor Mars, Jupiter, or Mercury and Tuxedo Mask is saying, "No, you have power. You just don't know it. You have power within you. I know who you are. You're Sailor Moon." So she finally transforms, and so she goes to the Scouts and she uses the Moon Stick, uh, Moon Healing. I believe how you pronounce it is es Escalation. I believe is how you pronounce that attack. And when she's gearing up to do it, Tuxedo Mask kind of encourages her to do it. And they see Beryl come out of the sky, so they get introduced to Queen Beryl, and Queen Beryl's like, what's that? So Serena, or Sailor Moon attacks Zoisite, and I believe she kills him, so he's done, Where and Zoisite gets taken back to the, neg to the Negaverse by Queen Beryl. And so all the scouts' energies return, and Sailor Moon uses the moon stick uh, to, to regain everybody's energy but at that time she her, her own energy gets drained so Tuxedo Mask carries her to his apartment and that's where Act 6 leaves off because um, Serena wakes up in Darian's apartment that was in the manga but it was not in the 90's episode and it finally dawns on her that Darian is Tuxedo Mask Whereas in the 90s, they didn't find out who was who until episode 30, Secret Identities. But no, she finally, it finally dawned on her after six episodes that, hey, the guy I've been bumping into is Tuxedo Mask. So, yes. So that's kind of where Act 6 leaves off. Act 7, Tuxedo Mask, will be airing or streaming on October 4th. So we will not be able to see Sailor Venus enter the picture until Act 8, because this next episode is another Tuxedo Mask episode. It was so he gets two episodes, and then it's and then it's Sailor Venus. And at the you also saw at the kind of closing of this episode, you kind of like got a foreshadow of Sailor Venus and Artemis, but they don't enter the picture until. Uh, Act 8. So there you go. That is a review for Sailor Moon Crystal Act 6 Tuxedo Mask. My next review will be on Act 7 Darien Tuxedo Mask, I believe is how the other one's called, but I'm not sure. But yes, my next episode review will be on Act 7. And so I will see you then. Bye.